Uh, damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Looks like Mother has been here all night with me. Or rather, with Martha. She even left her medication behind. She can't live without that now. I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this, it's too much. So much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. against citizens continues in La Romola, and once again General K's family has come under fire. Now it is allied with the opposition. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting. For the invaders. What if the bag is here somewhere? There's my bag, thank God. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Dear Julia, 
Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of... G to see beyond appearances. There are those who betray me and speak ill of me, but someone will know how to give me the right advice. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue even the path of insanity.
I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my Lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh, my God. Julia, my little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due- No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K. has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them, otherwise you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph, town on fire to identify yourself. 
Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. Here's the bicycle pump. Hello, Maria speaking. How may I help? Hello, Maria. It's Anna L., a close friend of Irene K. Oh, yes. Irene spoke about you. How can I help? Irene is making a dress for me, so I wanted to know whether she bought that beautiful and vibrant red and black fabric. I assume so. I am sorry, madam, but I cannot give you that kind of information. Irene is a loyal customer, you see. I understand perfectly, Maria. I'm only asking as I wanted to order a few metres of it for myself, without Irene feeling that she needs to sacrifice hers for me. I'm sorry, Miss Anna, but unfortunately, we do not have any more of that fabric. We got more on order for Irene. I'm sorry. Not now. I have nothing to say to Don Attilio at the moment. Before speaking with him, I have to get a few things straight. I don't like wine all that much, but I go crazy for our dessert wine. It is very sweet.
Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Here, Martha, this is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. Commune of San Casciano, Province of Florence, Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, Number 174, Part 3, Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich K. and Irene K. Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola, telephone number 6537. The official state civil service, General Galeazzo T. Holy water. It's only water and yet there's something special about it. That raven is making a big fuss. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. From the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that, had it been her. I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. What's 
What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. 